Okay, behind me you can see the Hengqin port. And actually not too far away from the Hengqin port is Macau side and the University of Macau is pretty much right over there. So I'm, I could actually try to get over there as well. I think what I'm going to do is try to go underground and I'm going to try to explore this area over here. It has, you can only get there by an underpass. So this is going to be my second video of uh, Hengxin and we're going to try to get over there and see what we can see. And I believe that the University of Macau should be like right over here. Yeah, there's the stadium right there. So actually there, there's a Burger King over there. I should probably walk down that way as well. Yeah, dang, it's kind of cool. So yeah, this is basically right at the front gate and there's a bunch of shops in here. There's these tall, I don't know if these are apartments or office buildings, but those are also going to overlook Macau as well. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed. And down there is a financial district down that way. And then there's some mountains in the distance over there. Huanto, I wonder what that is. Huh, this is really wild. Huh. I should bring my bike next time. So I think that's the University of Macau. But what I'm going to do is um, <coughs> try to go under underpass. Hey, check it out Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. So I was hoping to get an underpass and get over there so I can see what all that is over there. But it um, doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe I can try here, but there's another gate down here too. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to walk from the Sengqin port towards um, University of Macau. So we're going to uh, kind of show what's down this way. And um, I did come down here about five, five six years ago. Um, no foreigners were allowed in China for a few years during the COVID. So I wasn't able to come over. I used to come over all the time to another part. And, uh, and before this was kind of a mess to get down to this spot where we're gonna go. But now it looks like, it looks like it's uh, kind of developed quite a bit more. It's quite interesting. There's a thing that says underpass. So it looks like the underpasses are still closed. So things are still kind of slowly coming together. Um, there's quite a bit over here. And actually from the University of Macau, um, on the Macau side, which I'm most familiar with, I can, always, I can usually see this building right here. So now I'm finally on the other side. And all these red bikes are, are uh, rental bikes. I should try to learn how to do that. So um, as a foreigner, I think it's it's a little bit more difficult because everything's in Chinese over here. There's no English or Portuguese or anything like that, like in Macau or Hong Kong and such. Uh, there is, there's a little bit. Wow, okay. This says Avenida da uh, Liberdade. So they are using some, some Portuguese over here. If they use Portuguese over here, that's really cool. And it seems like they are. So okay, so that's the Hengxin port information. And we're going to try to get across. And what I'm going to do is just walk towards the, towards the University of Macau. And yeah, look at that, Avenida da Liberdade. That is pretty cool. So this is actually my second video of, um, of Hengxin. Hengxin is over on that side. And we're just going to walk down, I think it's Avenida de Liberdade maybe. That might be what we're on now. We'll see in a minute. Scooters. Wow, this is pretty cool. And over there is a the financial district. I definitely want to get over there too. I don't even know what street I'm on. Am I on Avenida de Liberdade? And then we have a, a, a bridge right over here and all these apartments. So there's a, it's, it's totally different than I thought. I, I just didn't really know what to think. Avenida de Liberdade. Liberdade is freedom. Um, that's interesting, the Avenida of Freedom. Hmm. Don't know what that's supposed to mean exactly. And then you got some red. I remember walking parts of Juhai before and seeing some kind of red stuff as well. And we're gonna basically walk along this way because I remember there's always this um okay, there's a thing here. There's a thing there. So later I think we'll be able to walk under. But we might even be able to get across maybe over here somehow. We'll just keep the camera going because it's all Double Tree by Hilton, so there's gonna be a hotel right there. I love HQ Hengqin, 
that means they're going to really gear this up for tourism wow okay that's interesting yeah it looks like you can walk over there and there's bike paths over there as well and yeah there's the university of macau so i can actually walk here before it was a construction mess so i remember trying to walk over here before and i just couldn't you had to go into the road and there's construction everywhere okay so some here's some signs up here so let's just see what these all say i guess hang Chin go is the port oh there's a port oh look at this tiamu river ecological promenade and there's the university of macau so that's really cool because the university of macau is in hang Chin, but it's been basically inaccessible And I don't know, it looks like this is kind of interesting too. There's some construction workers, but I think this is going to be an overpass for um, for cars to be able to come over to Hengqin more easier. So I think that that's what this plan is right here. And then over here, okay, there's Must University. Must University is um, Macau University of Science and Technology. So it looks like they built a campus over here. Huh. If they did, there's a must campus there and the University of Macau campus here. Whoa. My mind is a little bit blown right now, to be honest. So yeah, I can actually, I'm, I live in Macau. I've been there for 10 years, but it's, um, Hengxin is um, gonna change the, form, the landscape of Macau significantly. It's all landscaped in here. And we're gonna be able to um, walk by the uh, University of Macau now. That's amazing. Yeah, it looks like these cars, they go, I guess they do an immigration and then they just kind of come across, I guess. But they're not for foreigners, it's only for uh, Macau people can go, but, but only Chinese ethnicity. We're, I'm, we're, the foreigners in Macau are hoping that, but I don't think they're really thinking about us at all. This is the moat that we never see. That's the immigration right there. So yeah, that's uh, it's funny. I was just at that stadium the other day on the campus. I never see it from this side. And what I want to do in a little bit is I want to cross the street, but I don't know how I'm going to get over there. Oh, this is the, the road that we're on. Huan Dao Dong Lu. Huh. And then you also have these kind of cool lamps like this too. So these are kind of all over the place in here. That's the University of Macau. And that's the, uh, the border. So over here you can see um, some of the casinos including Studio City. So Studio City is where the Lotus Frontier. That's where we started at when I did the other video. And then over there is also a Parisian casino. Um, Venetian casino, you can see a few of them there. But actually what's really interesting is I remember a while ago I was with a, I came over here and visited and I think I remember being able to see this view and I was like, wow, okay, that road looks like it goes right into Macau. And I guess they did plan that um, so that it does kind of have that effect. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, I want to get over to that side. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. Um, But if I have to stay on this side, I guess it's okay too. But that's all the stadium up there. So you can see all the lights to the University of Macau Stadium. And I do want to get up there, so maybe I'll just... Um... <laughs> Dang, there's just so much stuff around here. Check out this vehicle. We don't see these in Macau at all. It's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop up the camera down there. And I'm going to see if I can find a way to get across. Okay, I'm still walking on the back side of University of Macau. So, um, so that's all the stadium right there. That's the uh, student housing over there. And we're going to try to go over there to um, Central Street. It's so weird. I, I came over here. At the end of this video, I'm going to attach my, uh, my previous time that I came over here. And how I came from here to here. And I think it was in... I think that video was maybe posted 2019, I think. So, uh, about almost five years ago. It looks like there's a way to walk across now. This was all under construction before. So yeah, pretty wild. 
it's funny because when you're at the University of Macau you can overlook some of this but you, you just don't really know what it's like until you're actually here so it's so wild yeah I think Heng is going to be building up to be something quite amazing in the future there's some construction on the University of Macau side kind of closer to the border as well right so that's kind of interesting and I'm going to walk over into the central street area so yeah this is basically kind of a shorter video that just takes us from Hengqin port across the University of Macau and over to this little area called um, Central Street we can see Central Street from University of Macau but this big wall is here so there's no way to get between the two and you can see this wall with the flowers or I mean the trees and flowers and then there's a moat and then there's another wall so it's kind of interesting so we're going to go directly over to that spot, Central Street, right there. Huh. So crazy. It's so different last time I was here, um, which was like four or five years ago. I don't know if foreigners can cross. I don't know if anybody can cross here so easily like in Macau side. In Macau, you can just go across and, and uh, pedestrians have their right of way. But in China, they usually do not have their right of way. So it's, going to be kind of a change in thinking. We're basically going to walk right there. So I'll probably do a separate video where I just kind of explore Central Street. That's um next street that we're looking at. <laughs> That's so weird. Last time I was here, which is 2019, I think. I think it was. I remember walking around here a little bit and there was just so much construction everywhere here. So it was, um, it's so strange to see it so different. Too long, let me see. Try to get across there. So that sign says Chimalong right there. That's like a um, like a Disneyland kind of thing in Hing Chin. They're, they're gonna be building more of those. But that one's been there quite a while. We've always heard fireworks. So there's Hing Chin Central Street. There's a car parked right there on the main road. So we're gonna walk in there. We'll do a separate video. In a moment so that'll be video number three but this is video number two just so you kind of get some context that's the University of Macau right there so now we've walked basically behind it I like to walk all the way around it sometime but that'll be another video there's just so much to see in Heng Chin that um that I just want to see as much as I possibly can and here's the central maybe we'll include a little bit so this is called Central Street so this is directly across from Heng Chin and there's a Burger King and there's some shops in here so I might do a separate video of this one. But I think I'll include it because the University of Macau is such a focus. And this was always built to accommodate that one. So that's kind of interesting. La Taverna. Taverna. That's interesting that's in Portuguese too, right? So let me just kind of see. Oh, it says Portofino. I, you know, I heard some from some Macau chefs that they're doing stuff over here as well. So this might be, um, oh, it's the Italian, Italian restaurant, but there's a Portofino in Macau. Huh. Wow, okay. I think we could also go through, there's a Burger King right there as well. And we'll just kind of briefly take a look inside. And then we're gonna do a whole separate video with this one. Yep, that's the port right there, University of Macau. This is directly across from University of Macau. So we're just going to walk all the way in. It says Heng Chin Central Street right there. And we're just going to include this one in and later we'll do a separate video all for this. So everything's in Chinese and English. That's a business decision. I think the Macau will be in Portuguese, so it looks like there's... We'll see how Portuguese-ish it is or not. Huh. There's Burger King, looks like you can sit outside. Tons of apartment buildings up there. It looks like real nice. Fashion, there's also Yishion. Lemon tea, lots of lemon teas in Macau as well. Let's see, this is, there's a foreigner there. Two foreigners. 
Queen City Food Street. So I guess they might call this Food Street. Actually, this is bigger too. Last time I was here, I didn't go this far in. Huh. Wow, okay. It's a lot of cool stuff around here, okay. Just gonna walk all the way through it. We're gonna walk all the way down. And then we'll kind of um, come back and look at it in more detail for a separate video. This is basically right across from the University of Macau. Huh. There's actually stuff both directions here. Yeah, this will have to be a whole other video. So there's some dumplings. Huh. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of cool. I bet the food is like really cheap too. See. Wow, okay, this is gonna really transform Macau. Because these foods are gonna be like probably not Macau prices. Wow. This is gonna be transformative. Dang. Wow. It's more Horasakopi. Dang. I have to come over here more often. Jeez, this is uh, pretty dang cool. There's more down this way as well. So let me kind of Macau Imperial Tea as well. So we got lots of apartment buildings. This is Central Street right there. You can also sit upside, upstairs as well. And you got more stuff down that way as well. 68 UN, okay. Dang. Prince Macau. Principe Macau. Huh, that looks pretty cool. So they're using the Macau sign. And they got like all the different stuff in there too. It's like Macau Tower. It's up all the ruins. Like a diner, it looks really cool. That looks nice. It's up all those ruins there too. Macau Friend. This is going to be really good for both Heng Chin and Macau. Hello. <laughs> Let me see. So it looks like, looks like they're still doing more construction. So we'll just go back a little, we'll go a little further and just kind of see what all is down here. Macau Imperial Tea. Looks like you can go inside as well. <laughs> oh, they got some music back in here too. Oh, okay. So it looks like this is something that's being built right now. Looks like it's going to be something kind of cool as well. So anyways, that was kind of a little tour of what's on the other side of, of the University of Macau. Dang. That looks kind of interesting too. There's a lot of stuff to explore around here. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to... Um, 21 building. I think I read about those ones down there. So we're just going to go around and then we're going to end it. So, um, and I want to focus on this little area. So I'm going to do a whole other video just for this area right here. But dang, there's a little thing that says, um, from a cow. Oh yeah. And some little things here too. Hola, funny Macau, funny uh-huh. So let's just kind of check this out. So we got more stuff here, incubation center. Food and Art Lab. Oh yeah, from Macau. Macau tastes all in. Huh. Okay. So, um, so we're going to uh, do this whole thing properly. Macau Imperial Tea. Dang. Okay. But at least you kind of get a taste for it. So we basically walked from that port down here, did a whole video. And um, and people who kind of want to see what's what's over here, I'm impressed. I, I didn't really expect. I, I I didn't know. I thought I thought I thought it would be like something that would take years to develop, but actually it's like kind of fully developed already. Like at least in this area right now. I don't know what's going to expect on the other side, but there's like 
Oh, the food smells really good too. Man, now that, now that this is here, kind of makes me wonder like, I kind of want to come over here all the time because it's like a whole new world of stuff. There's a lot to explore over here. Oh man, I think she's in Street. So anyways, the University of Macau is directly straight ahead. This is this little complex. We started at, at Hengqin Port and I'm going to um, get something to eat for sure. And then I'm going to do another video where I just focus in this whole area. But yeah, straight ahead is University of Macau and this is um, Hengqin Central Street. Um, so pretty cool little space. Hey, check it out Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. Yeah. Yeah.